Hello everyone, we are going to go on a treasure hunt. We're going to look for the Jack Hall Gang's treasure. And you're going to find a stranger mission just southwest of your first camp. And if you go to that location on the map, you'll get a stranger uh, icon pop up. Talk to him and we are going to start a treasure hunt. Now this is not a normal treasure hunt because typically you'll get a map and then that leads straight to the treasure. Well, in this case, we're going to get this first map from this guy. It's going to lead us to a second map. We're going to have to then find a third map and then ultimately find the treasure. Now the treasure, you can do this pretty early in chapter two. It's worth a thousand dollars in gold if you sell it at a fence. I'm not entirely sure when you'll come across a fence, whether it's in chapter two or chapter three, I forget. But you're gonna to talk to this guy. It's gonna be a couple minute conversation. Ultimately, you can buy a map from him. It's gonna cost you five dollars. Now, if for whatever reason he's not there, you kill him or whatever you do, you can actually purchase this later from a fence but you just talk to this guy and he'll give you the map. Now, there's the clue of the second map. And you'll see that is going to be just north of your first camp and south of Valentine. And there's a big hill there. And I'm kind of standing at the base of it at the moment. And we're going to go climb up Caliban's seat here. Now, as long as I don't fall off the side of this thing, which I tend to do for some weird reason, I don't pay attention, I don't know. But we're going to go climb our way up I won't fall off. Spoilers. All right, so once you're at the top here, just kind of head back, and you're going to see a abandoned camp, a little tent uh, just up in the ahead right there. There's a path going down just before that, so we're going to go down, turn left. We're going to have to do a little platforming. We're going to jump across and then climb up this, and then we're going to climb down the opposite side and then kind of stay along the wall here. And inside the uh, the crack of the rock here is going to be where we can search. And this is going to give us a second treasure map. Again, this uh, you're going to get two gold bars that are worth $500 a piece that you'll be able to sell to a fence for $1,000. So there is a clue for the next location. So step three, we're going to find that third map at that location. And we're going to find this one much further north. So it's uh, near the reservation, but there's Katora Springs. So we're gonna head there. I'm gonna place a marker just above the O in Katora there. And you'll see the springs here. This one's actually gonna be tucked under the rocks just ahead here. And it's this little smaller one here. Kind of one big rock with a, on top of another. So here you're going to eventually look for the search icon as soon as you search and it's going to give you a yet again another treasure map. This treasure map however is actually going to lead you to the treasure itself not another map. You can see it's on a, what looks like a little island. So not too difficult to find. So where is that island? Well this is going to be much further east. You can see this location you're going to see a couple of little islands here. And it's going to be right here in the middle. So I'm just going to go take that jumping off point, swim over to this island, and we will complete this uh, the Jack Hall Gang treasure map hunt. Now, this is not going to get you a trophy itself. However, it is required towards 100% completion, which, of course, will lead you to the trophy for that. So we're going to go swim over here, try not to freeze to death in this cold water. So this is step four, finding the treasure itself. And it's going to be right under this rock right here. So examine this rock. You lift it up, you'll find two, two gold bars. And the final step, well, profit. Take that treasure to a fence and you'll get yourself $1,000 if you sell it to them. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and of course, subscribe. <laughs>